At least 20 people are feared dead throughout southwest Missouri. One of the hardest hit areas is in Pierce City in Lawrence County. Last night's twisters left that community's downtown in ruins. Color 10's Chris Goodman just returned from Pierce City. And Chris, I understand that town is just pretty much devastated. Oh, you name it. Uh, the post office, a furniture store, bank, convenience store, an insurance company, all either badly damaged or destroyed. And even worse, some of those trying to take refuge from the destruction killed. Rescuers hoping to find signs of life in the place, ironically, where people take shelter during storms, the town's National Guard Armory. There were very many people in the older part of the armory, uh, perhaps 30, 40, 50, I was there, uh, who found what they were looking for, which was shelter. But at least nine are feared dead, buried beneath the rubble of the armory, Pierce City's mayor still in disbelief. It was quick, it was loud. Uh, when I came out, I was uh, amazed at the scope of damage uh, because it didn't seem like enough time had elapsed for all that damage to have been done. Not a home or business in this small community left untouched by Mother Nature's wrath. Her fury, something everyone who was here when the twister hit experienced firsthand. Came over a our next door neighbor's house and that's when I seen it and I slammed the closet. His mom in the closet with him tries to get treatment for her foot after being slightly injured during their ordeal. I went into the closet with no shoes on, come out and slipped on the first pair that I found and it was full of glass. But she considers herself lucky and so does anyone else who came out of this destruction alive. Very thankful that I'm all right and all my family's okay. I can't believe it. I just think it's a dream. I want to wake up tomorrow and have, have everything back the way it used to be, but I know it's not going to be, and it's going to take a long time to fix. And Pierce City, not the only city in Lawrence County to suffer losses. The Highway Patrol is also reporting that three people were killed in Monette. So what happens next in Pierce City? Well, a, a lot of cleanup, obviously, but at this point, rescuers are using search camera, thermal imaging equipment, inflatable airbag system, anything capable of lifting more than 150 tons at the armory to find any victims still trapped. They're still hoping they may find someone in there alive. Let's hope daylight helps them out. Yes, definitely. Right, Chris, thanks so much.